everybody, it's Victoria Marina. I'm back with another Scraptastic Design Team layout. And about a week ago, because I think this one, this layout was posted, so I'm a little bit late. My mother's been in the hospital recently, so I'm getting back to normal, hopefully, starting this week. So about a week ago, um, Scraptastic hosted a subscriber challenge, and we do so, I think, every week. And our subscribers are... Um, welcome to post suggestions on layout challenges that they want the design team to do. So for the, this past week, the design team was challenged to create a layout using colored cardstock. Now I have mentioned this before, but yellow is a hard color for me to work with. And so I decided why not? Because it's what's left in the kit. I'm using the just a girl kit from January. <laughs> February, January, and January 2016. Sorry, brain fart. And I have just a few pieces left. I just tore through this kit. I don't have a ton of it left, which is which is good. So I'm using some papers from Studio Calico and some exclusive papers to Scraptastic. That yellow cardstock is a textured cardstock that came with the kit as well. So the story for this layout, that's a picture of Corinne. And some of you, if you on my Facebook page have seen this layout already, I went ahead and posted it. It's also on the Scraptastic blog if you're a member. And on this day, we were at my mom's house having Sunday dinner, and my mom made her signature roast and potatoes and um, and green beans and whatnot, and we were just all chowing down except for my little one. And so grandmas, because they're cray-cray, <laughs> always offer an alternative, and it's usually not something that, as parents, we would normally give our kids when we are trying to convince them to eat their dinner. So as Corinne is sitting at the table sulking about, you know, not eating grandma's dinner, grandma just says to her, well, do you want something else? Grandma's got popsicles in the freezer. And then of course she gets a popsicle. So there's her in that picture eating her popsicle. And so I take a picture and she looks at me as if to say, wow, I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> because when you're at grandma's house, you can get anything you want, right? Those of you who are grandparents out there already know what I'm talking about. You are probably guilty as charged. I'll probably do the same too if I'm blessed to become a grandparent. So that's what the story is. And I thought it would be a fun addition to her five-year-old album. Today is her birthday, her sixth birthday. And um, normally I would do her birthday layout, which I'll do probably sometime this week. But um, I figured this would be a nice little end to her five-year-old album as I'm finishing that up. So what am I doing here? I created a cluster at the bottom using some die cuts that came exclusive to the kit. Those are all Scraptastic die cuts. And then I cut a tab out of some pattern paper. And I'm going to stamp from the, I think this is the Just a Girl stamp that coordinates with the kit. I'm gonna stamp top notch on that tab. Now you saw me lay down, oh, there's my pro. <laughs> You saw me lay down some strips of paper there at the top and the bottom just to anchor the layout. I printed that photo uh, four by six, but then I cut it down. I think it's approximately four by four. Now I'm going to staple that tab down. I usually like to adhere it with some Tombow Mono first and then um, staple it. And then at the bottom, I'm attempting to add some staple. No, at the top, I'm attempting to add some staples, but my tiny attacher got a little stuck. So now I'm going to add the title, and I changed the orientation of this layout quite a few times. I, I just fiddled and fiddled with this. It took me about 20 minutes to do the layout, well, maybe close to 30. And then I finally settled on the title being there at the top because this is going to be a journal-heavy layout. That's another die-cut piece. That's an acetate piece exclusive to Scraptastic. It's a little gem. I think we got maybe four or five of those. And I really struggled with where I wanted the embellishments. And then I stopped the camera and just played around with it a bit and said, hey, at the bottom would be really great for that. I needed a little doodly-doo there on the side. That's a technical term in scrapbooking I just made up. So everybody make sure you use that when you're describing <laughs> adding things to your layouts. A little doodly-doo. I needed a little something there on the side of the photo because I, I wanted something um, black and white there. As I've got black and white touches at the top and at the bottom and I needed something on the side of that photo. Now I'm grabbing another stamp, and I think this one says Classic U. And I want to stamp that there at the bottom by the cluster, and I'm going to stamp it a, few, a couple other places too, I believe. I'm using some black VersaFine ink, getting that all inked up, stamping that on there. Corinne, like most grandkids, usually get their way with grandparents. And she's so cute, so how can you say no? All right, so I'm stamping some stars. Um, again, same stamp set, and I've used the star stamp quite a bit with the layouts I've made with this kit. 
and then I am going to stamp classic you again because I felt something else was needed. Now a lot of times when I'm scrapbooking I don't know what I'm going to be doing in advance in terms of stamping most of the time. My layouts just kind of organically come together and so if it works great if it doesn't I just pull it all up and start over <laughs> if I'm not too bothered by it or if I'm really bothered by it. If not it just kind of stays. All right there's a wood veneer um, bow which I had no clue what I was gonna do with at first, but I figured I needed something there at the bottom. And then that's an exclusive flare from Scraptastic. I'm gonna put that down there as well. And since I'm at the very end of this kit, I just wanted to add stuff to the page that, you know, if it looked halfway decent, it stayed and I'm okay. I didn't want it floating around in my stash. And then there's a little checkbox list and I checked, I can't believe it. I think that's what it says. And it has several options that you can check mark. Now, I started to handwrite my journaling and I usually don't stop to type out my journaling, but I thought journaling strips would go great with that yellow background. I wanted something to kind of mute it a bit. So I typed up the journaling, which talks about us having dinner with my mom and despite our attempts to get her to eat, um, she refused to eat. And of course, grandma offered her a popsicle instead because that's what grandmas do. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we go, putting all that down. I use some Tombow Mono adhesive, and I think that looks really good. And you know what? I need to stop being so lazy because I really like typing my journaling, but I also like writing it. Um, so my scrapbooks have both typed and handwritten journaling in it, and I think that's fine. Adding some enamel dots, and then I think a little, oh yes, I'm gonna add the date. And this is where I think I went a tiny bit overboard because I wanted to add the date below the title, and then I added it about three times, and I looked at it, and I'm like, eh. But that's okay, it's done and it's over. <laughs> All right, so here's the finished layout. Make sure you check out the Scraptastic blog for more information about this kit and then the other designers who also participated in this challenge. Here are some photos, I'll see you guys next time.